Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my quick video of how to get to Roundtable Hold in Elden Ring. So Roundtable Hold is the Firelink Shrine, if you will, the Nexus, as it, as it were, uh, of Elden Ring. It's the safe space. So I'm going to show you the quickest way to get there. You can do that right at the start of the game. So we're going to start here at the Castle Gates kind of thing. This is the grace where you meet Melina for the first time and you get to torrent your horse. So I'm starting here because you're going to want the horse just to do it. Um, you're going to want to make sure you've got no runes because this is a suicide mission. This isn't the only way to get to Round Table Hall, but it is the quickest and the one you can do right at the start. Uh, we're going to basically go and die to Margit, the boss. And that's it. It's as simple as that, basically. So I'm just going to show you where Margit is, how to get to him as quickly as possible, die to him, and then get to the hold. Um, yeah, and there are other ways to get to it. Make sure you get that, by the way. That's a golden seed. Uh, there is another grace point up here I'll just stop at, so if you want to grab that on the way as well. Um, so yeah, round table holders, NPCs there. It's There's a, a, a smith there that will take your weapons all the way up to the top. There's a, a shop there, the Finger Maidens. It's the safe place, and it's where lots of story arcs kind of take place as well. So you'll want to get there. You'll get there eventually. There are other ways to get there. Progressing the story is one of them. Uh, I believe finding a certain amount of grace points is also one of them. Uh, I have found quite a few already, <laughs> but it's not come up. So you're going to just ride up here and ride through here, try and dodge all the enemies, of course, and then to the end of this tunnel, there is going to be a grace point. You're going to want to just activate it, and then I am going to sit at it just to clear these enemies out, because they are all charging after me. Uh, and then we're just going to go get up and uh, and die to Margit, and that's... Uh, as simple as it is really so you just walk through here and this is where the boss fight is so make sure you don't have any runes or a vast amount because you are going to lose them all we're going to we're not going to try and fight him although i think i just do cast spells at him and uh, yeah that's it uh, when we get to round table hold i'm just going to take you on a kind of a whistle stop tour of the the, the major npcs and things you'll want to speak to there's lots of npcs to talk to so yeah just let him hit you and kill you there we go. That's not. <laughs> it's not going to take long, especially right at the start of the game. Um, yeah, I'll do a quick tour of a few NPCs and things that you want to speak to and meet, and the most important ones. So once you've died to him, sit, you'll be back at this grace point. So sit at the grace point, and Melina will turn up. Me. You don't need to activate anything. You, all you need to do is literally sit at the grace point, and she'll talk to you about things, and then all you need to do is agree to go with her to round table hold and you'll be teleported there and then from the map um, you can now go to round table hold at any point it's down in the bottom left hand corner of the map but you can just bring up grace points uh, and it'll be the first one on the option there on the map menu so yeah say so you want to go with her and then uh, you'll get teleported there and this is round table hold so there's many NPCs there's a few in this room uh, you'll want to speak to there's one on the left here you speak to him He's going. He's the incantation guy. He's going to sell you incantations and things like that. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but if you go further around to the left-hand side of the incantation guy, through go through the doorway, you've got the uh, the twin maiden husks here. These are basically a shop. There's some handy things in here: stone sword key, uh, things like that. You've got a memory stone, which is a, another magic slot. Lots of weapons, armor, and things like that. Now you can add to this later on with uh, with bells later on. So um, you'll get those. Also, there's a gesture if you speak to that NPC there. On the op opposite side of the round table, there is a smith, so you can go speak to him. He will take your weapons all the way up to the top. Uh, it's a lot later on. You do need, obviously, very high-level smithing stones and things like that. He'll also sort out ashes of war, duplicate them for you and things like that. You can sell stuff to him. Not that I ever have. Uh, just past him, there is a, another room with fear in it. She is part of one of the endings... Um, so if you are going for that ending, uh, the I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but she's part of one of the endings. Uh, if you let her hold you, which she will ask to do um, once you speak to her, she will give you something called a Baldekin's Blessing. Now, this actually reduces your health while it's in your inventory. I think it's 5-10% um, of your health will be gone forever. So <laughs> I'm just going to quickly just walk out of the room here while she's not looking and go and use... Uh, the Baldekin's Blessing. It's not great, to be honest. All it really does is boost your poise for a while. Um, and it's not very long at all, to be honest. 
So it's it makes you tanky for a bit if you're worried about that and you want to just keep casting spells or whatever without worrying about getting hit. But you can go back to her as many times as you like and uh, and get them. But while you are holding one, you do have reduced health. Um, so be aware of that. Just use it and get rid of it. But it is part of one of the endings. Uh, and the final thing I'm going to show you that is actually an NPC. If you see that yellow dot on the left-hand side, that actually means when you see that in this game, that means you can't use your weapons. But there is actually an NPC fight. As you can see, lots of bloodstains down there. A lot of people have died. Uh, so if you just jump over here, uh, there is an NPC fight. He will give you a gesture to start with. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, he's, he's quite tough, actually. So uh, we'll just quickly fight him. And that will be the end of the video, basically. But yeah, there's lots, lots to do here. Uh, there's going to be new NPCs will get added to this area. Uh, so just keep coming back here throughout the game. It is a, a safe place to just kind of let your hair down as well. Almost get him, but I just had to drink here. And he does heal. Does he dodge? Yeah, just did the heal there. So close. And I, I think I do run out of uh, FP right at the last second here as well. Go for the final cast, but it's not there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this guy, if he gets close to you, he's going to yeah do things like that. And make pretty short work of you, but we get rid of him there quite easily, really. So yeah, he's going to give you the, the reverential bow, uh, bow, should I say. And uh, yeah, Taunter's Tongue, NPC thing, uh, PvP thing. Right, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.